For this lesson, we learned about finding a missing number. And if you look, the you can see that this looks a little bit like that whole part part chart that we used. Um, it's just a way of organizing your thoughts so that you can tell that this is the whole that's either going to be the sum and the addition problem or the first number in the subtraction problem. And you need to find out which what the other part is. So you know what one part is. What is the other part that makes up the whole? So you would think 9 plus what equals 16? Well, I think, well, if I add 7 to 9, then I get 16. So I know that 9 plus 7 equals 16. And then I would also know that 16 minus 9 equals 7. So the same thing here. You're, you, the whole is 12. You know the part 7. 5 is the other part. So 7 plus 5 equals 12. 12 minus 7 equals 5. 15 minus 6. The whole is 15. So that's the sum in the addition problem. We need to find out what the other part is. And I think what 6 plus what equals 15? That would be 9. And so I know that that would be the difference if I subtracted 6 from 15. 18 minus 9, aha, there's a double fact. 18 is the whole. 9 plus 9 is 18. So I know that I'm going to put it there. And I also know that if I subtract 9 from 18, the difference would be 9. So I have, in each problem, I have both of my parts are the add-ins in the addition problem. And the whole is the sum in the addition problem. In my subtraction problem, the whole goes first. That's what you're subtracting from. And then whatever the other add-in is that you didn't subtract, that would be the difference. Down here at the bottom for problem solving, you're looking at the shapes in the addition sentence. Draw a shape to show related subtraction fact. This is just a way to, um, to help students understand that no matter what symbol we're talking about, that the two add-ins uh, in the addition problem will equal this as the sum and so it, this would then be first in the subtraction problem. I see that this shape is the difference, so I know that the other shape is going to be the number that I subtracted from. Looking at the back. Which addition fact helps you solve 12 minus 4? This is something that we... Um, that we've been talking about all week. So we should remember that if our subtraction problem is 12 minus 4, if I know that 12 minus 4 equals 8, then I see that I have 12, 4, and 8 here. I also can eliminate these possibilities because I don't have 12 in this one, I don't have 12 in this one, and I don't have four in this one. So I know that I, I have to have both of those plus whatever the other part is, and that's how I would be able to eliminate those and tell that it's this one. So I don't even have to solve it in order to figure that out. Count on to find 9 plus 3. This is a review. I think to myself 9, 10, 11, 12. And then which doubles fact matches the picture? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 8. That's going to equal 16, so there's my doubles fact.